Hello friends, this video on metal and non-metal part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. So metal plus dilute acid will give you a salt and hydrogen gas. If you have a metal, you react this guy with a dilute acid, it will give you salt and hydrogen gas. This we have learned in the last chapter. So if you see, the rate of formation of bubble in case of magnesium was fastest and the reaction is the most exothermic in this case. We took a direct HCl. The reactivity decreases in this order. So we were confused about magnesium, aluminium, zinc and iron. When we reacted with acid, we found the reactivity series. In case of copper, no bubbles were seen and the temperature was unchanged. This shows that copper does not react with acid. So these are something my observation actually. You can say that these are my observation. So we actually did this in the lab or if you actually do in the lab, you'll see that the, the rate of bubble formation in the manganese is more, aluminium is a little less, zinc is a little less, iron is all the more less. Correct. So with this, you observe that this is the pattern of my reactivity series. Correct. So by now, the reactivity series we know is, we have this potassium, sodium, we don't know which one is more reactive. Then we have this calcium and magnesium, we know which one is more reactive in this case. And then we have this uh, aluminium, zinc and iron, we have this series also. Correct. And then we have this uh, lead and copper, we don't know which one is more reactive. And then we have gold and silver, we don't know which one is more reactive. So till now we have got the series, right? Almost we are done. So we need to find the, which one is more reactive in uh, uh, all these uh, buckets. This bucket, this bucket and this bucket, right? With this we know when you react with the acid, we found this. Correct. Let's see uh, what acid reacts with gold. Generally, we'll see that most of the acid we don't react with gold, but there is something called aqua regia. This dissolves gold. So let's let's learn this aqua regia also because it's critical from the exam's point of view. Aqua regia is nothing but a freshly freshly. It has to be fresh, freshly prepared cons, uh, mixture of concentrated HCl and concentrated nitric acid in three to one. So that means I take HNO three and HCl in 3 is to 1, 3 is to 1 ratio, both are concentrated, both are concentrated and freshly prepared, that is called aqua regia solution and this dissolves gold. So, but if you see you put uh, hydrochloric acid in the gold, it won't dissolve, but this, this mixture dissolves, right, and this is highly corrosive. It is one of the few agents which dissolves gold and platinum very few elements which uh, uh, solution which dissolves gold right so this is one you should know so let's react this metal with the nitric acid we have done with the HCl acid last time so in this case when you dissolve with nitric acid hydrogen gas is not involved you see hydrogen gas is not involved when the metal reacts with nitric acid this is because nitric acid is such a strong oxidizing agent it oxidizes the hydrogen produced to water. So water, whatever hydrogen is produced, it converts into water itself, right? And it itself get reduced to nitrogen oxides. But magnesium and manganese react with nitric acid to involve hydrogen gas. This is the exception. So you have to remember this that manganese and magnesium react nitric acid also to form hydrogen gas. But other metals when you react with nitric acid, it won't form hydrogen gas because nitric acid is is such a uh, ox strong oxidizing agent it's strong oxidizing agent that it oxidize hydrogen form to water correct see it oxidizes this to h2 plus correct so such oxidizing agent nitric then this becomes h2 plus that is nothing but water correct but in case of magnesium and magnesium it thank you Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, 
get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.